Good morning. Today is Saturday, December 28th, 2019. This is our last update for the entire year of 2019. We're doing no more updates this year. No more keto updates. No more. I'm done. Because <laughs> it's week 56 and we're done for the year. Yes. But we will be back. We will be back. And we will be doing 2020. Yeah. I'm going to kick keto's butt. Well, keto's kicking my butt. My back has been kicking my butt. Uh -huh. um, the last two weeks here, I've been suffering with some major back stabs, major sciatica acting up. I'm just miserable. I can barely move without just extreme pain. Lots of lots of stabs. Um, yeah. Been sticking with my keto, trying to keep everything pretty simple. Um, not real happy with the scales, but. It is what it is, and we said we would report what happens every week, good, bad, or otherwise. So there you go. You know what mine is. Oh. <laughs> Aw. So Bill weighed in last week at 333.6. And I was happy with that. I was kind of even thinking maybe I could get to the get out of the 330s. Absolutely. And that didn't happen. And this morning he weighed in at 337.8. So he's up. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't even add it up. About four pounds. I don't think I'm up four pounds. I think I just need to move and go to the bathroom a little more or something. I don't know. Get a little water weight out. Yeah, or something. I've been drinking tons of water, too, and I'm thirsty. My sugars have been really high. Um, I'm hitting the 200s, and that's not good. Yeah. I got to get I gotta get this under control. I think that a portion of that is pain because I know stress, yeah. pain, lack of sleep, all those affect me. And I've been getting such bad stabs that I break out in like a, a heat sweat of just from from the pain of getting stabbed. Yeah. So I'm trying to work through this. I've had Stacy helping me out massaging that one area of my lower back. I even have a sports massager that we're going to review that I have been using on it. And uh, I can't seem to just shake it. A little bit of icy hot on there helps too yeah. but uh i'm not getting out out of bed and into the bathroom without at least four or five good stabs so at least i'm able to get out of bed right got to be thankful yes that's one way to look at <laughs> so, it so i'll take that and i'm hoping to see my sugars come down as i can get some relief from this yes but it wasn't the way i wanted to end the year but you know life's imperfect it happens it is not much changed for me either. Um, Imagine that. <laughs> last week I weighed in at 133.8, and this week I weighed in at 133.6. Hey, so <laughs> That ain't bad. But at least it's not up. It's, it's not, you know. And when you say no change for you, I think that's inaccurate because 2019 was a huge change for you. It was. You went from 180, what, 182, 189? 180.2 is when we started keto, but at right. my highest, it's 189, which it? was not very long before, that was 189. Yeah, so 130, whatever it is, is very good. 133.6, I'll take it. Yeah. I feel fantastic. You look um, great, too. I don't even kind of look like the same person to some no. people. I showed one of the coworkers in the bakery, because uh, I worked in the bakery last week, and we were talking, and I uh, had to do the tuxedo cakes, which were hard because those are the chocolate those ones. Those look good, huh? Those look. And there's tasty. so much waste that goes to those tuxedo cakes. Um, and so I was saying, he goes, "Just have some." I said, "No." <laughs> I said, "If I have some, I'm not going to stop." <laughs> and he's like, "Well, what do you mean?" He goes, "You look good." I said, "I said, well, a year ago, I didn't look this way." And I showed him a picture, and he was like, "That's not you." <laughs> I said, "I promise you, it is." And he was flabbergasted uh so you know i'm feeling good i'm happy with the progress and yeah you know me too i'm happy that for you too now for me it's gonna be a little while i still got a path to go and i need to kick this thing's butt look so, at it we're gonna start the new year and yeah. i mean i'm still motivated I, just, I still keep doing my keto i haven't like thrown off course no haven't gone out and said oh forget it i'm gonna eat this this and this no nothing like that Pretty simple, actually. Yeah. <laughs> pretty, I'm a pretty simple guy. I just stick to my basics. I did make him, us, the girls love it, a blueberry low-carb bread. 
Yeah, we did a video of this yesterday. We're using a new camera and we're using an iPhone at the same time. And we had some technical difficulties where we did not get part of the segment. And I'm going to see if I can't figure out a way to fix it in editing to continue. Because we did get it on the iPhone, we didn't get it on the camera. Oh. So I'm going to try and figure out a way creatively editing if, to see if I can get that little bit in there. That's and the technical can, stuff that's all him. And if I can, we'll we'll have a, a video out probably in the next day or two. It's going to take me a while to mess with that one. Yeah. So Very good. I ended up having to make a second loaf. Uh, the girls oh, absolutely yeah. love it. They don't do keto, but they absolutely love the blueberry bread. I think what I liked most about it, of course, there was the sweetness of a blueberry chew in there and all, but um, was the moisture. It was a moist, nice bread. A lot of times when we make a keto type of thing, it has a different texture and, and sometimes a dry taste. Um, I don't know if it's the flours that we use or what, but it just doesn't taste like a normal bread that I'm used to. Yeah. And uh, this was probably the closest to a regular you know, right off the plate kind of thing that you wouldn't believe was keto. Yeah. I was pretty impressed. Now, I have to say, I tried, looked in many cookbooks, and I found a French toast bake. And I was so excited because I love French toast. That was my go-to when we went to a restaurant because it was safe. The texture was horrible. I... <laughs> I made it and it didn't look bad and I cut into it and I was like, I'm not eating this. Very, um, you know, you put syrup <laughs> and butter on something and it definitely helps it. But the consistency was very sponge yeah. and that was not working for me either. Uh, I did eat some because I wanted to try it. And as soon as Stacy touched it, she said, no, I'm not eating that. <laughs> uh, and it wasn't horrible. The taste was okay. The consistency, the the yeah, it was spongy. It was not something I'd want to share and say, hey, go ahead and no. eat this, because it was not like French toast in any way. And I was so excited for it, too. I was so excited. And well, no you know, that's what you do. You try stuff, and we tweak it, and then, then if we really like it, it becomes a staple, we make a video for it. Absolutely. This blueberry bread we made a few times here, Yeah. and uh, it's worked out wonderfully. And just yesterday, she came home and said, let's do the blueberry bread, so... Yeah, we got it out. Cool. It was yummy. So, um, I'm going to try and get that out if I can salvage that video. And if not, we'll just make another loaf. Oh, so hard to make another loaf. <laughs> Dang and, it. Uh, and if we can't, we'll get, we'll get another one out here for this week, hopefully. And um, the other thing was, we also have a collaboration video. It's called The Big One. Yes. And uh, Stephen Blake has everybody putting a video clip into a Google folder. And we're all taking bits and pieces of those clips and putting in together kind of like a motivational thing for 2020. And I'm shooting to get that out for January 1st. Absolutely. So I got to start working on that. Again, it's all him. That's the technical stuff. Yeah, it's the, the boring stuff. Sit in front of the computer and edit. Oh, well. He likes it. So, thank you for checking in with us, and I wish my numbers were better, and I wish my back was better, but I have a lot of other things to be fortunate about, and yes. overall, 2019 has been a great year for us. It has. Even if right now there's a pothole in the road, um, we'll just move through it and yeah. keep going. Okay. That's, that's what you got to do to succeed. You just got to keep moving. You have good weeks, you have bad weeks. This is not my favorite time period right now. <laughs> I'm but sitting you, here trying to just keep my back straight and not wince because I don't want to do that on camera. Yeah. But you've made tons of strides. And, oh, yeah. We both have. You know. And we've changed a lot of things. Gosh, Julia and I went through our cabinets yesterday and uh, <laughs> we probably eliminated 30 things that had mostly expired because we just never made them. Jellos and, and yeah. muffin mixes and banana bread mixes and things of that nature that we used to eat on a regular basis and make, you know, for like a dessert for after dinner type of thing. He started pulling things out and looking at them and they were dated 2018. It was like, man, look at all this waste. And I said, man, look at all that dedication. Junk we didn't eat. Yeah, look at all we that junk good. we didn't eat. We did good. We stayed on the keto wagon instead of going to... No, you're right. The, the triple blueberry muffins and... You know, and you know, we kept those because I figured the kids would still want them. And you know, it's hard as that is to make and, and serve to them, 
I'm not going to force them to do everything we're doing. And, you know, and now we just uh, try and get a little bit better stuff. We bought blueberries. We bought a little bit of strawberries for them because they love strawberries, uh, bananas. And I know all these things have sugar in them, but at least they're real food instead of Doritos and yes. muffins and all that other crap. So we're trying. And it's all gone. And the good thing is when Stacy does make the keto stuff, she'll offer it to them to try. Um, and once they try it, if it tastes good, it's kind of become their thing too. So now when we make Fathead, we don't make just one that we split. We make two or three or four. And then the girls split one and we split one. And then we have more for later too. Yes. So, and I don't mind that. Yeah, we it's had good. we stayed home for Christmas this year. Hope everybody's Christmas was nice. We stayed home for the first time, and I can't remember when, and just enjoyed the family. And I made fathead pizza for dinner, mm -hmm. and then we watched a movie. We watched Pokemon Detective. Not my favorite. It was the girls' choice, but it was the girls' choice. <laughs> Not my favorite. But you know what? We were all together and no, right. enjoyed that time and some snuggle time and. Uh, had good food in our belly, so life yep. was good. Life is good. I was happy. Yes. And it figures, the one year we didn't travel, it was like 50 degrees out here in Michigan, and we would have been fine on the roads, you know, yes. no snow storms or anything, but that's okay, too. Yeah. It was really nice to just be home. It was. Really nice. Thanks All right, for guys. joining us. Thanks for watching, and thanks for sticking with us through this year, and we will see you in the next year, and keep going strong. Take care. We'll Bye. see ya. Bye.